hello everybody happy December it is finally December November is done and it's Christmas time and I've put up Christmas decorations in my background yes I did so I got a little like wall decals here I have two of them this is like a Christmas advent calendar thing and then I have like you can't really see it but let me try I have little ho ho ho's up there and I also oops and I also have like little reindeer and Santa's sleigh up top. It's so cute. I have window decals up. I have my Christmas tree up. I'm going to decorate it later today. And I'm just all about Christmas right now. I'm so excited. I've been watching Christmas movies. I've been listening to Christmas music. I've been Christmas shopping. So yay! Holiday time! And I'm very excited because I actually started doing Vlogmas today. Like out of the blue I realized it's December 1st. Well, it's December 2nd when you're seeing this. but. It's December 1st. I just whipped out my phone and I started vlogging for Vlogmas. I look forward to it every year. I'm not promising I can vlog every day or upload every day, but I'm going to try my really hardest to. Anyway, enough with the really long intro. It's time for November favorites. These are beauty products that I really, really loved throughout the month of November. Um, a lot of new products to talk about, a couple of rediscoveries, so we're going to jump right into it. Let's start with lip products because I have three of them. I've uh, just been kind of pulling stuff out of my collection that I've had sitting there for a while um, that I just kind of wanted to use. First one is a NARS product. Actually, both two of my lip products are from NARS. This one is a, a velvet gloss lip pencil. It's a sample that I got from my friend, and it's just been kind of sitting in my collection, so I pull it out. This is all that's left of it. I've been using it like crazy. Um, there's not much left to it, so I'm like, oh, I'll just use it up, get it out of my collection. But it's a really pretty color. It's deep. It's just a very deep pink, purpley color. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, but because my lips are so pigmented, it's almost like my lips, but better color. So I've been really enjoying using that. And then the other product from NARS is this lip gloss that I had gotten in my Sephora Give Me Some Lips set. And it is in Turkish Delight, and I, I thought it might be a little bit too nude for me, but I'm actually wearing it today. I really like it. I just kind of pulled it out, thought, okay, I'm going to commit to using it this month, and I really, really like it. And you can't really even tell that I swatched it, but it's just a very nudey pink color. It's, very, it's on my lip right now. It's very milky. I love it. Didn't think I could pull it off, but it actually kind of works. Next, something I got from my Ipsy bag this month. I know, I actually like a product I got in my Ipsy bag. This is from Michelle Fawn's new makeup line, M. And it's one of her Pillow Plush Cushiony Lip Balms. And it's a very intimidating color. I feel like this is the opposite side of the spectrum from the other colors. Very intimidating, but when you apply it, it actually shears out quite nicely. And it's just a very deep, vampy color. Really loved wearing this. I wear it to work all the time. If you watched my haul earlier in November, you know I placed an order to Macy's and I ordered some MAC products. And I ordered my very first MAC blush, and this is in Well Dressed. And it's just a very nice, natural pink and you can't really even tell you're wearing it but it's just so natural it gives you a very nice flush and I'm gonna try to even swatch it can you see it right here I'm wearing it today I feel like it's just so natural and pretty and I've really been enjoying using this I definitely wanted to pick up some more blushes so if you have any recommendations please let me know I think I think the next one I want to try is going to be gingerly or uh, Fleur Power, but definitely leave some blush recommendations down below for me to try out. Moving along to eyes, another MAC product. I picked up my first paint pot, and this is in Painterly, and it's just, ooh, and there's a, ew, there's an eyelash in there. So this is a Painterly, and it's just a very nice nude base. Um, but what I like about it is it really does a good job of, like, canceling out any, like, darkness like purpleliness in my eyelids because I have very pigmented eyelids you can like see the veins they're so purple and pink and it drives me crazy because when I don't wear eyeshadow I look 
like a vampire because my eyes are so purple. This does a really good job of canceling all that discoloration out and leaving me with the perfect nice naked base that makes my eye coat makes my eyeshadows really pop. So I've been really loving this. I don't know I don't know how I feel about its like quality wise because I feel like it creases. I tried using this without a eyeshadow primer underneath and it creased like crazy. And I never have that problem with my Maybelline color tattoos. So I feel like, ooh, hair and my lip gloss. Um, so I feel like for the price I paid for this, I don't know how I feel about needing to put a primer underneath if it already is a base. Maybe my eyelids are just really oily. I don't know, but I've never had a problem with my other base is creasing so I don't know I don't know but I've been really enjoying using this underneath all my eyeshadows so I pulled out my L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows this month just because I feel like I've been neglecting them I never use them quite as much so I've really committed to using them this month and like for instance right now on my eyes I used my smoldering plum which this is one I definitely never reach for it's just a very deep purple color. I use this as eyeliner and I kind of gave it a dramatic wing. I'm going to be doing a blog post with over this eye look later. Um, and, then, and then for my highlight I used my Iced Latte which is just the perfect shimmery inner corner highlight. I've also been using Bottomless Java a lot as an eyeliner. It's just a very nice deep bronzy brown it's really nice for like a subtle uh, line along my lash line. And then for an all over lid color, I've been using, I feel like this is, I should know what this is. I've been using Amber Rush, which is just a very beautiful deep gold color. Very pretty. So yeah, just trying to use them, give them some love. I feel like they've been sitting in my collection for a while untouched. And I can't have that. I've been trying to break that habit. Um, a mascara I've been reaching for a lot this month is the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I loved this stuff and then I went away from it using my Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I decided I just wanted something a little more natural. The Their Real Mascara makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes. I think it makes my lashes look beautiful. But they look a little too intense for daytime use. So I've been reaching for this. Like if I'm just out running errands and stuff, it's got very small, it's got very small bristles on the brush, and it just gives my lashes a very natural look. This is just the black one. Oh, it's waterproof. I didn't even realize I had the waterproof. Um, so yeah, I've just been using this because I've had it for a while and I wanted to use it up a little bit. Um, I have two brushes here I wanted to tell you about. I have these Sigmax brushes from Sigma and I got these over the summer and I fell in love with them and then I put them away for a while. I had been using just my hands to apply my foundation just because I feel like I felt like my skin was really red and discolored so I really wanted to get the fullest coverage I could for my foundation and to get that I used my hands because that just gives you the fullest coverage ever. And then my skin kind of cleared up and started and stopped being mad at me so I started using brushes to apply my foundation again because it really sheared out the product and I've been using two. Uh, first is the Flat Kabuki F80 and it's just a very nice flat top kabuki brush. It's very big and dense and this is fabulous. This is my go-to when I want to apply my foundation because it just um oh I just had a brain fart. What was I about to say? Um Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember now. Okay, the hamster is back on the wheel. But it does a really nice job of blending out my foundation and giving me a very nice airbrushed finish. And then when this got dirty and I was too lazy to wash it, I started using the Angled Kabuki F84. And it's just a very nice, um, dense, angled kabuki. And what I love about these is that they don't like is that they don't absorb most of the foundation like other foundation brushes do. Um, so you're getting really the most product 
you're getting you're needing to use less product and it's not like wasting product so I really like these and by the way because just because I'm uploading this on Monday it's Cyber Monday all of Sigma no, select Sigma products are 20% off right now I will leave a link down in the description box below go check it out lots of great stuff um, lots of great stuff on sale so definitely go check it out so I have a nail polish to talk about and I'm not wearing it today right now I'm wearing um, OPI's I'm wearing something from OPI's Germany collection. I can't even remember right now. Anyway, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie this month and I wore it pretty much all month except for right now I'm wearing this is Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear in Lacy Lilac. It is a really pretty pastel lilac color. I used to wear this all the time in the summer and because it got to be fall I would put it away and started reaching for my reds and my just fall colors and then I saw somebody's YouTube video and they were wearing this and I'm they were wearing a color similar to this and I was like oh that's so pretty I have something similar I'm gonna bust it out and then I couldn't stop painting my nails with it because it was so fabulous and actually like you can't even tell right now but I'm like halfway through this bottle like it's gonna be gone soon I've never used up an entire nail polish before like it's so hard to do so I've just been really enjoying using, oops, so I've been really enjoying using this this month. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's like only three bucks, so definitely go pick it up from the drugstore. You can find it anywhere. I have a fragrance duo to talk about. I don't have the shower gel because it's in my shower right now, but I pulled out my Frosted Snowberry from the Bath & Body Works Holiday Traditions line. This is my bottles from last year. I only got like halfway through it um, last year before I put it away for the year, and then once like November hit and I got into the Christmas spirit because let me tell you as soon as October was over like as soon as Halloween was done I was in Christmas mode buying Christmas decorations I was just excited so I pulled <clears throat> so I pulled this out and I really started using it and I don't I know I'm not even gonna finish it this year because I'm sure as soon as Christmas is over I'm gonna put it away again these last forever I have oh, such a hard time using up Bath and Body Works products anyway so I've been using this. It smells really good. It's got blackberries, warm caramel, and iced musk. And I can't even smell the caramel, but I can definitely pick up the musk and the winterberry. But it's just fabulous. I know they changed up the design on the packaging this year. And they reformulated lotions and stuff. I haven't tried them yet, but definitely enjoying this lotion and the shower gel. I don't have the body spray, but whatever. Almost done. I have a fail to talk about, and it's a MAC lipstick. Don't hate me. I love MAC lipsticks. I think they're amazing. They smell amazing. They're amazing. They're, ow, I just bit my tongue. They're amazing quality. I just had a color mishap. Uh, this is Pink Nouveau, and it's so pretty. It's a perfect bubblegum pink color. And, I mean, it's really pretty. I really like it. And I wore it one day and people thought it looked really great on me. I just think, I think I'm a little too old to be wearing bright pink lip color. I don't know. I just, I couldn't stand how it looked on me. I tried using a lip gloss on top to tone it down. It's just a little too bright. And even though this is a satin finish lipstick, I felt it was a little too matte. So I actually had to put a lip gloss on top. So I don't know. This one, this one was just not for me, and I don't know. I don't know. I real, I'm really, really sad about it. That was it for my November favorites, and I can't believe that at the end of this month I will be doing my yearly favorites, my Bell's Beauty, my Bell's Beauty Awards for the, all of the 2013. I'm starting to compile my list already. Um, definitely go check out. And like I've been trying to do, I'm going to include my November random favorites on my vlog channel. So that video should already be up and I will put it right here under the Christmas tree. A nice little present for you guys. Um, so definitely go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Bye!